Jim, you're talking about a strong euro, um, and I'm very interested to see what, what we think is a strong euro, because I'm told that the, a lifetime average price of the euro, 118, 120, uh, anything above that is a strong euro, isn't it? I mean, even down at 125, when the European politicians were bemoaning the low level of it last time round, actually, it was still at a relatively high level. Jim? Are you asking me? Yeah. I'm just thinking through <laughs> there, though. It's, 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 through it's there, I see. You have to look at the camera. Uh, uh, the... Okay. You can well, look at me now, if you like. I, I will look at you. No, look, I own the euro. I'm not thinking about selling the euro, for, for I think, for fundamental good reasons. It's uh, the euro dollar pay, yeah. The euro, yes, yeah. yes. Euro, euro to the U.S. dollar, yes, there's no question. Uh, the, the European economy, the European Central Bank, is doing a much better job than the American Central Bank. I wish the European Central Bank were running the American Central Bank. The world would be better off if that were the case, because... A, as Sylvia says, nobody has ever benefited in the long term by debasing your currency. It may look good for a while, but in the long term, the medium term, it always fails. And America's doing a terribly wrong thing. The British tried it. You tried debasing your currency for decades. It never helped you. It's not going to help America either. What about these peripheral countries, though? Would it, would it not help them? I mean, can the Greeks, the Portuguese, the Irish really compete at 148 euro dollar? But you're talking about very small economies. You're yeah, talking tiny they, economies. But, worry about their okay, but then you look at America. In America, we have very small states. They all have to pay the same U.S. dollar interest rate of the U.S. dollar. And some of them can compete and some cannot. That's the way capitalism is. Some people benefit, some people suffer. And if the people who adapt and adjust... Yeah. Do and good things for the world. Throughout this crisis, people have bemoaned the domino effect, that what happens in Greece and Portugal and I Ireland will affect the big players, the ones who can compete at this kind of level. Do you just actually completely disagree with that, the fact that so if these you, small countries can't compete, it's not actually going to have an effect on the bigger, wider Even EU. if it does, I mean, you've got to face reality. You can't sit here and say, oh, we love the Irish, and I do love the Irish. You're going to sit here and say, we love them so much, so we're going to deny reality? We're going to continue to bail them out for years. Why should poor, innocent taxpayers in Ireland have to live a, a life of austerity for 50 years because some banks made mistakes? I find that mind-boggling.